Alright. So look at what just showed up. I'm going to set this box aside. I know what this is. It's my new Bixby PP768 battery. Um, that's going to go on what's in these boxes here. But it's also going to go on some of the kayaks. So let's go ahead and move some of this out of the way and figure out exactly what we have here. Oh yeah. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Look at that. Let's flip it over. That's what we've been waiting on. Sea Eagle boats. Let's go ahead and get it opened up and see what's inside. Perfect. Life jackets. Those are nice life jackets too. I'll set those off to the side. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can get this out of the box here without tearing everything completely up. <laughs> All right, so there's that. This here is a seat. I'm going to leave that box there for right now and um, so I can put it back in it. Paddle's a must no matter what you're doing. Whether you think you're going to paddle it or not, um, you know, that's definitely something to have there. Oh, and that's awesome. That's one of their, their other seats, inflatable seats there. That is perfect. Um, makes it a little bit lighter up front. Just set that back on top of that. Ah, the easy cart. So let's go ahead and put all this stuff away and see about getting that thing inflated. Let's get to it. All right, now I'm gonna inflate this for the first time. Um, I just read through some of the directions. If you need to, you can go on um, Sea Eagle's website and they have a lot of really good videos on how to inflate a lot of their different um, kayak sups and, and then their inflatable boats. Of course, they do sell a battery operated pump, uh, but in this case, we're gonna use the hand pump. Shouldn't take too long, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Uh, slightly longer if this is your first time, uh, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, let me bring the, the boat over here and we'll, we'll start inflating it. In my case, we will start off by motorizing this with the Bixby Jet. Um, I have a PP768 battery that's going to go on the transom using Bixby's transom mount. So you shouldn't have anything to worry about there. Oh man, that's pretty thick material too. Get it rolled out. Um, fold that all out. All this can be done, uh, you know, with one person. You don't have to worry about having multiple people here to, you know, make this work. You have five chambers on this. Um, you can probably already see you have three up front um, and then two kind of the, the middle of the, the, uh, the boat there. And you can see on all of these, uh, they do have a maximum, uh, maximum recommended pressure. So it's not like you have to memorize any of this. You know, you can look and they've got them written right on there with these little plates. This one has a, the flooring has a maximum recommended of 10 PSI. The side pontoons have a recommended of 3.2. So that's what we'll do. to let you know as you're pumping this up you're not going to see anything on the psi gauge until you get to the point where everything's almost fully inflated and then it starts putting some of that back pressure by getting the paddle ski um, you know if we go uh, of course i've got a full-size truck but with a family of 
you know, wife and two kids, um, taking kayaks, boats, stuff like that to the beach or camping or, you know, even even down to the lake. Uh, you know, it can be it can be a bit time consuming trying to get all of that stuff together. Use it as a fishing platform. Use it as a runabout boat. Use it just as a pleasure boat. I mean. The possibilities with this particular uh, boat are, are endless, you know, with, with what you can do with it. You can see I'm starting to slow down here. <laughs> of course I am. It's alright, we're just coming out of winter. It's not even spring yet. <clears throat> and one thing you can probably see here is it doesn't have any drain holes or anything like that. The way it's designed, your water is going to roll out the back of the the boat there all right now let me move this pump off to the side oh man would you just look at that and this is before we've put anything on the scotty bases did come already on this um you know so we don't have to worry about that if we wanted to switch it you know or change it um you know we could this i'd need to flip around just so that the inboard portion is facing that way but other than that Let's do a little walk around. We'll put the transom on it next and start adding seats. Got a lot more stuff we need to get through. All right, well, you can probably see I just put the transom on. Um, I didn't do it on camera, but it didn't take too long. Um, but however, one thing to note, and they do this or talk about this in the video, both your pontoons are already pumped up, and if you have trouble putting this down in there and getting the holes lined up, you will have to let some air out of your pontoons, which I did have to in, in this kite. You know, that's, that's snug in there. I'll inflate these pontoons back up, and we'll proceed to the next step. Lightly tightened everything up on this seat base here. Let me find. I'm just going to keep that like that. And you know, this is a really simple um, design here that makes these, you know, real easy to get on and off. And it's not going to, it's not coming off by any means. So I do want to mention that, yes, even though this is an inflatable boat, um, Sea Eagle does include or have some packages where uh, you can get two paddles that come with it. So, you know, if you didn't want to motor this right away or you had no plans to motor it, you could use it as a kayak um, or, you know, a uh, a paddled skiff or you know anything like that and there's your paddle right there and you know you can choose to set it along the side it's not going to get in your way get the other one unpacked put that on the other side and then we'll see what else we have all right so i put the other paddle together and you may notice that these paddles are probably slightly longer than some of the paddles you're used to um they have to be you know so that you can get to the water you know the blades can actually get into the water and propel you if you're not um you know if you're not using any type of electric or gas motor so i'm just going to put some of these rod holders in place just to give you an idea of you know what it's going to look like with pad i mean with rod holders we're definitely going to get on the water soon with these um these scotty rod holders are nice you know, it's got a locking place there. It's got a button that locks it in the base. And once you push it down, you hear that click. So you know that it's secure in there. I'm not going to use this other seat for right now. The ability of getting this smaller seat that comes with some of their kayaks. Um, and this one's, this one's actually really nice. There it is. For right now, that's where we're going to leave the Sea Eagle 437 paddle ski
Now I'll probably add the Bixby to the back, a motor, some tackle, and some rods. But how many other 14 foot boats do you know can do this? probably go all the way down to the lake if I wanted to. Well, that is something there. That is just an awesome, awesome package. We'll take it inside and start working on how we're gonna outfit it with the Bixby motor and a few other things.